Hello everyone, uh, this is Pavel Sarwar from Bangladesh, currently living in Malaysia. I am a level 8 local guide. Today, uh, I am going to share uh, with all of you uh, about uh, our this virtual uh, meetup or this virtual live streaming. So today, uh, I am going to share about, uh, about my country and uh, uh, another country is uh, Nepal. So Niraj uh, will be joined with me. So now I would uh, like to invite uh, Niraj Busal from Nepal on screen. Hi, Hello, everyone. Niraj. Nice Hi, bro. How are you? How are you? I'm good. Yeah, I'm fine. So uh, 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 can you introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah. So I think I will start with the presentation because we have the time boundary of one hour, right? Yeah, well, we can uh, start. No worries. Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, hi everyone. So, uh, and thank you everyone for watching us live. So, this is Niraj from Nepal. So, I am a level eight local guide currently, and I have been contributing as a local guide since 2015. So, the journey journey till now is really awesome for me. So, besides local guides, I am uh, and Google Street View State Photographer too, and we have hosted lots of. Uh, So we have been hosting lots of events in Nepal. So I think probably this has gone live. I mean, okay. So yeah, you can continue. Uh, if you want to share your screen, you can share. Okay, so let's begin with me, okay? And uh, in the meantime, why my presentation? So I'll be taking your name lots of times. So be ready to answer my questions. So you cannot okay, discuss. So that's okay. Okay, here I go. Share the screen. So tap. <coughs> yeah. yeah. So, so is this screen visible, Pavel? Yes. Yeah, it's a great. Right? So yeah. So so as I already said, so I am Niraj Usad from Nepal, a local guide and still with trusted photographer too. So actually, I I would like to call myself as a dreamer. So dreams about being an agent of change, bring impact to the society and serve the country. So yeah, so as the meetup is focused on Nepal and Bangladesh, and we'll be sharing lots of things about our country. So here I am with the lots of things about Nepal. So these are some of the pictures that will help you. I mean, these are the links that will help you help you know about what Nepal is and so on. So I'll be discussing about all these things in my presentation later. So <clears throat> I'll start here. So Nepal, so actually Nepal is a country of mountains. It has been known by mountains. And as we have the world's uh, highest Mount Everest in Nepal. So beside that, uh, so Nepal is also known as the country of, uh, I mean, uh, Mount Everest. And Nepal is known as the 8,000 error. It means like there are 10 mountains in the world with height 8,000 and above. And among the 10 mountains, we have eight from Nepal. So I have listed them in the screen. You can have you them Mount Everest, Kanchenjunga, Lhotse, and so on. So if if you haven't seen Mount Everest, I mean many of you may not have seen Mount Everest. So here it is. This was a picture taken by me in 2019 while I was at Patale. So Patale is a district. I mean Patale is a place in Nepal, located in Solukhumbu district, and Solukhumbu district is the one which has the Mount Everest. So behind this behind uh, the logo and the dash of local guides so you will be seeing lots of mountains here so one of them is sagarmatha but it is it, it has been hired by the clouds so and luckily while, while i was there in patale so it was snowing so this is the picture so i took in patale so it was snowing and pavel you know you never get to uh, experience snow i think till now you haven't experienced snow right yeah uh... Uh, I have visited the Pokhara. So during my Pokhara uh, 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 trip, so I, I had a chance to uh, go near about the mountain. Yeah, you have seen mountain, but actually you haven't. I mean, I mean, experienced the snow. Yes, yes, I didn't. But I, I think we will be. Yeah, yeah. After co coronavirus outbreak, uh, I, I want to visit again Nepal. So, yes. but during my presentation, <laughs> I, I will also share uh, so many uh, experiences about Nepal as well. 
Yeah, that will be great because we have lots of experience about Nepal. Maybe you have visited some places that I haven't visited too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. 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 Yeah. So let's continue. So another is the Nepali flag, right? So here is the Nepali flag. So we have two colors: so blue and red, with uh, the white icons. I mean symbols. So Nepal is the only country in the world with a non-rectangular, I mean non-quadrilateral shape of shape uh, of flag. So Nepal's flag is composed of, I mean, two rectangles uh, with red color and and blue blue color in the border. So these two colors, I mean, these two symbols, uh, they are actually one is the moon, uh, and another another is the sun. So this the symbol represents that. So Nepal will exist in the world till the sun and moon bestow their light on the earth. So isn't it that great, Pavel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think you might have a T-shirt with Nepal's flag, right? Yes, I have. Yeah, uh, till now uh, I, I used to sometimes to wear this uh, T-shirt as well. So as I remember, uh, you have also one T-shirt. Uh, uh, here is writing Bangladesh, right? Yeah, yeah, Bangladesh. I'll show that picture also and I, I have still have the t-shirt also and also okay. I, have the, I, I have the local guides uh, t-shirt given by you to return my means in local guides to own lo local guides t-shirt remember yeah, yeah. i remember remember yeah. yeah during my nepal trip in 2017 yeah yeah so that's what that was the first gift i, I got from you too yeah so yeah. you you continue please okay so as we probably had asked me say about languages and culture, so Nepal is a relatively small country, but we have a diverse population with over 80 ethnic groups and 120 languages are spoken as mother language in Nepal. So while uh, Nepali language is the official language and 44.6% of the population speak it. So this is the data I which was taken from the uh, census data of 2011. So here is the uh, data. So beside Nepali, we speak Maithili, Bhospuri, Tharu, Tamang, uh, and so on. Yeah. So another interesting part of Nepal is a living cultural museum. So why Nepal is a living cultural museum? So here is thing I will say. So Nepal has 10 UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and seven out of them, uh, they exist in Kathmandu. Uh, Kathmandu means Kathmandu Valley which will be Kathmandu, Lalitpur, and uh, Bhaktapur 36. So here are the 10 World Heritage Sites, uh, uh, UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So one interesting thing is that I have visited the nine heritages, and I haven't visited the last one, 10 one, that is Saramat and Sulpak. Hopefully, I have planned to visit it. And Pavel, I think you have visited uh, four or five from the list. Yeah, yeah. So, but. Uh, oh. I, I have visited the Pushupatinath, uh, uh, Buddhanath, uh, 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 yeah, yeah, Lumbini, uh, Chittwan as well, Chittwan National Park as well. So I have yeah. lots of memory. Uh, I, I will share. So, uh, okay, uh, if you don't mind, so I need to invite a few other uh, studio guests uh, on our streaming. Uh, so many uh, local guides, they want to share about their country and culture with us. So, but before that, uh, I want to share a little bit about my country uh, yeah. as I am from Bangladesh. Uh, so, uh, let me introduce about my country. Yeah, so Bangladesh is one of the most uh, friendly country in the world. Uh, and uh, Bangladesh was the first part of the Mughal Empire for more than five centuries. And it was once the eastern portion of the historical region of Bengal, along with uh, uh, Indian state of West Bengal. And in 1971, it became the independent country of Bangladesh with Dhaka as its capital. And you know, the Bangladesh is the, situated on the northern coast of the Bay of Bengal and uh, is uh, surrounded by the India uh, with the Indian state of the West Bengal to the west to the north, Asham to the north, uh, Meghalaya as well. And uh, I, I will share a little bit more about Bangladeshi culture and uh, food, uh, tourist places, because in my bucket list today, I have a big list uh, because so many, uh, uh, so many local guides ask me 
uh, where to visit and what to eat in Bangladesh and few funny questions as well. So today I will try my best to answer all of those questions, uh, all of those questions. And now uh, I, I want to share my screen and I want to show, uh, uh, I want to show my country flag with uh, all of you. Yes, and this is our country flag with green and red. And uh, this is very unique flag uh, all over the world. And uh, I want to share one more thing uh, with uh, all of you uh, about our father of the nation, because I already mentioned that, uh, uh, I already mentioned that uh, Bangladesh uh, became independent in 1971. Uh, let me uh, share my screen. Yeah, so uh, this picture uh, of our father of the nation. So uh, we are the country with a law uh, with a, a rich uh, culture and rich history, and our uh, language is uh, Bengali. It's known as Bangla. So more than two hundred and thirty million people all over the world are speaking in Bengali, and Bengali is one of the largest uh, languages all over the world. And you know, if you ask Google, uh, what is the most sweet language in the world? So Google will answer you must. The Bengal is the most sweet uh, language uh, on the world. So uh, Niraj, so now I want to invite um, uh, one, uh, one of our uh, guests uh, from Nepal. Uh, so he want to share something about uh, Nepal. Hello, hello bro. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, it's me, Abid Vyasputal from Nepal Bank, and I want to uh, share my screen. And uh, okay, okay. So I am Abid Vyasputal from my hometown Dang. So I actually told him to prepare something from Dang as I will be covering most of our country in in general. So, so Abid Vyasputal, you have to take that responsibility to share okay. about Dang. Uh, okay, uh, when we are talking about Nepal, Dang is also one of the beautiful places among them. And Dang is located in the Inner Tarai in Province 5 uh, in Mid Eastern and 800 km far from the capital of Nepal. And uh, Dang is the largest valley of the Asia. You can see that the red uh, line here in the map also. This all is about Dang, and this is the largest valley of the Asia. Its area is about 2,955 km square. And then, uh, it's on the place of it's the place of the ancient Thau community. Thau community is uh, one of the communities just like uh, um, uh, Magrat and uh, so so like and other people does not stay here. Means uh, many people does not stay in the Dang area uh, because uh, he uh, there is a fear of the mosquito in the Dang area, so uh, they don't stay here. And some of the photos of the local Thau community are uh, in the display. The copyright authority will goes to the Kuldeep Nupani and. Those people are the local people of the Dang uh, who are especially from the start and some uh, more photos. And this is the snail that uh, the Tharu community takes uh, in the special occasion, like uh, Maghi, their own, uh, the biggest festival. And then uh, for the transportation to visit the Dang, uh, there are two ways. First way will be the roadways and another will be the airways for roadways. You, will, you can take any vehicles from the uh, Kathmandu main city and you can come and visit Dang. And for airways, there is the Toigao airway, Airways and uh, Dang Airport. Uh, there is a scheduled connection to the other cities in Nepal too. From there, you can visit Dang. And uh, among them, Amukshari Temple, which is located at the Gorai. And it is the one of the religious temples uh, in Gorai because uh, this temple is mentioned in the one of the most religious book of the Hindu, like uh, named Sustani Katha. Uh, and according to this history, this is the uh, one of the uh, important place of uh, Hinduism uh, for the Hindu people. And this is the one of the picture of uh, a mixture temple where we can take many, many more sins also. And this is and the uh, another place. Different, different. So it, it's actually the version 2.0 of Ambikisha temple. So actually it was yep, really yep. Yep. Uh, And then 
Uh, okay, this is the old biggest trisul, uh, which is 13 kilos and inaugurated on the December 14, 2019. Uh, and uh, it has a 27 quintal uh, and was also considered as the heaviest one. Uh, and then this is the one of the glimpse or the photo of that area. And then one of the another is, uh, place which is the uh, which is known as the tourism place also is a Jakaratal. Uh, here main the people from the many uh, places come and uh, come for the picnic and the tourism uh, places and some of the other uh, religious places at the down are the listed below. Uh, uh, so due to the lack of the time, please take a snapshot, uh, uh, screenshot and please read it, read out. And then uh, this is the photo of the one of the temple of the Gorai, which is called the Siddha Ratnanath Mandir. Uh, and then this is the uh, one of the this is the local made clothes which is found in the dang uh, called alloko kabba uh, in english version what it is called nearest i i think it's allo for me so let's okay, say let's allo. allo yeah allo and this is the one of the another place of the dang uh, it's it's called the Bara Kune Daha. There are the two bell corners in this uh, place so that it is called the Barha Kune Daha at Nepali. And this yeah. is the, another glimpse of image. And this is the uh, national flower of the Nepal, Rhododendron. Uh, and uh, which uh, this scene can be also be captured from the Dang uh, border area of the Dang. And then one of the sun site uh, which we can visit from the Dang. And this is the local device which is used to make a alcohol uh, or the device which is used by the local uh, people for making a formation of the alcohol or the uh, Nep in Nepali language, Roxy. And this is the one glimpse of the image of the uh, that beauty which we can found in the uh, Dang or the Gorai area or anything. This is a mustard plant and yeah. uh, the flower out of the mustard plant. And that's it. And the Vedas Pokhil Karso contributed to level 11 and contributing regularly to introduce the Nepal in the global. Thank you so much, bro, uh, for your nice presentation. Uh, so now I would like to uh, invite one of our another uh, guest uh, from uh, Brazil. So uh, let's invite Sarah from Brazil. So Sarah, hi, how are you? Hey there. Hello, Nira. Hi, Sarah. Welcome to you. I'm yeah. fine. So, uh, uh, can you share with us a little bit about yourself and your local guide journey and also uh, a few unique things about Brazil? Uh, so it's totally now uh, up to you. Okay, so hey, I'm Sarah from Brazil, and I'm a local guide level eight, and I became local guide three years ago when I was was traveling to Costa Rica, and then I post a picture. I took a picture, and then Google sent me a message: Do you want to post it on Google Maps? And then I became a local guide. I think a lot of people became local guide like this. And in 2017, I've been in a summit, the local guide summit, and there, there I meet Pavel, and we dance a lot in our, uh, in the parties, in the summit parties, and we the Shiri from Malaysia, she starts to say party party and then everyone say party yeah yeah party. we are missing a lot our party uh the shini yeah shini uh, uh, from malaysia uh, uh that time uh, she uh, was living in singapore so yeah. she brings two flags yeah but so yeah. so due to the time otherwise i can play uh, the, the, the the your dance video because uh, i have uh, your dance video Send to me. Oh, I, I, I miss it. I, I miss it. This video, please send to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, uh, after this session, I will send to you. Yeah. And because of this, I returned to local guides program actually to connect. I never stopped to be a local guide, but I stopped a little bit on connect because my life was very confused and a lot of things to do, but. This year I returned and I made um, a meetup with a lot of sparring about on this party party was uh, about Brazilian music. I have actually two meetups I already did. 
was one of it was to around the world so a lot of people show your songs about your country your own country and i show for her it's a type of dance here in brazil and we also did a uh, uh, other uh, other meetup about only brazil to all brazilians so we show other musics but just brazilian music both are on connect if someone want to to read it's very complete about the songs it's very very was very very nice and i I'm also want to know a little bit about the carnival would you mind to share with us about uh, the carnival no i i can't talk about it well in carnaval it's um uh, he actually carnaval is only a week but here in brazil it's like a month <laughs> we start to do the pre carnival and we have a lot of songs there also a lot of types of songs and everyone with drums and everyone it's very hot in this time so people go to the streets with costumes and a lot of oh, glitter glitter yeah like sparkling things on the face and people get crazy it's totally crazy like transform yourselves but it's very it's a very 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 nice party and we go to streets to having fun to sing to drink to meet other people is i think is the time when everyone is more free of themselves and in everybody because everyone dressed like they want everyone i i i don't explain exactly but because it's a feeling you know it's but this song everyone is singing all the time and it's very a happy moment of course some people get a, drunk a lot and some people uh get do not good things but in the most of the moments are very special time because everyone it's very open to other people so everyone want to share together the moment everyone want to live the moment so people dress up like i don't know if you want to be a batman you are batman if you want to be um and everything you want and it's in the same time it's very cultural but also it's very political because people go to the streets and talk about things are important to people in the songs in carnival songs also in their own costumes like if some political polish uh, like i don't know the last president people didn't like him so much so they dress up like him and speak a lot of things so it's a mix of things it's political it's a party it's to everyone meet each other and help each other and create new drinks <laughs> you you're mute. thank you so much sara for joining with us uh, i hope our all uh, listeners uh, they know a uh, uh, few things about the brazil so i uh, i want to say all of our audience stay tuned we have so uh, a few others uh, guest as well they will share about their country so now i would like to uh, invite again niraj to continue his presentation about nepal so after that i will continue my presentation about bangladesh on the meantime we will also invite a uh, few of our guest on our studio so thank you once again sara for joining thank with you. us thank stay you stay safe stay at home uh niraj uh, yeah, you have to unmute your mic okay sorry so i think uh, it's going to be long as expected because we are getting lots of queries from nepal india and so on so let me continue to my presentation so here's a quick yeah, reminder after our presentation we will uh, try to answer all of the question because uh, 
I have a, a, a bucket list for uh, the question as well. So uh, yeah, we will try to answer the questions. Okay, so I am just doing a short recap, but I had mentioned about my introduction. So here are the, some pictures. So I shared some facts about Nepal. So as Nepal is also called a thousander with 8,000 mountains, 8,000 above uh, eight mountains with height above 8,000 meters. Uh, and so I said about Nepali flag, it's unique nature and about cultural things and so on. So this was this was where I lived, right, Pavel? So a living cultural museum. Yeah. Yeah. So the next uh, interesting thing of, uh, I mean this, the next uh, fact about Nepal is Buddha. So Nepal is the birthplace of Buddha. So who was born, uh, it was like Siddhartha Gautam, the Lord Buddha, who was born in 623 BC. Uh, in in uh, in Lumbini, so currently there are uh, over two three hundred and more Buddhist temples in Nepal. This is the data I collected from central data statistics, but it may differ. So I'm sorry if the data is wrong. So here are the three, three pictures uh, of Lumbini. So this one occupies the pond and the Ashoka pillar and the Lumbini temple itself. So you will see the Ashoka pillar in the middle. So it. I mean, this, this pillar is the symbol that proves that uh, that proves that Buddha was born in Nepal. So it was built by an emperor Ashoka, so who came to Buddha. Uh, I mean, so who came to Lumbini and he wrote something about Buddha and so on. So this is the thing. So now let's come to. So that was something about Nepal. So there are lots of places, lots of things that I can say about Nepal. And I think this live session will not be enough to do that. So I am just skipping with this three or four things I said. So here I come with the fun facts of Nepal. So bro, I'm hungry. Yeah, bro, I'm hungry after uh, watching uh, the Momo. So I'm very yeah. curious about Momo. <laughs> yeah, you see. So you see that Dalbat Power 24, right? So I have also wore a t-shirt. It's written <laughs> Dalbat Power and 24, right? So. So Pavel knows how we eat in Nepal. So as he stayed with me together for more than two or three weeks. So when visiting Nepal, so dalbat is actually our appetite, daily appetite. Uh, we take it two times in a day, in the morning and in the evening. So it has some rice and dal, I mean some vegetables, soups and so on. So as in the picture one. So another is more money. Uh, like Nepal is popular for Momo. So every time we go to a student, we ask for the menu. We look for lots of menu items, right? But at the last, we order Momo. So here is the picture of Momo, and Pavel knows very well about Momo. I think he will be sharing some tips about Momo. So Momo is like dumpling with meat or vegetables inside, mainly. And in Nepal, steamed Momo are popular. So we have lots of varieties of Momo, like steamed Momo, uh, Jhol Momo, Fry Momo, and so on. So, But uh, steamed Momo is popular, and it's one of the most popular fast food in Nepal. Pavel, so how was the momo you tasted? I think you tasted momo lots of time, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, I have tasted momo uh, at your office, the Prime Minister office of Nepal. Uh, I have tasted uh, the momo uh, at your home, Pokra, uh, Chittwan, and uh, Poshupatinath, in front of the Poshupatinath. So, uh, my last during my last uh, 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 visit in Nepal, uh, at, le uh, at least every day I, I took that uh, momo. So uh, I, I want to share my screen. Uh, I want to show uh, our audience. So what types of food actually I have taken during my uh, trip in Nepal. So I, I want to share my screen for uh, for a while. Okay, I am letting you in. Okay, let me see what you have recorded. So I have posted in uh, Local Guide Connect. Uh, all of you, uh, uh, I, I think all of you, you know about the Local Guide Connect uh, because it's our heart of the local uh, local guides. So uh, I did it with the Nepal Local Guides. So uh, yeah, bro, uh, you need to tell the food name. Yeah, this is chaat. All right. So this is chowmin. I mean, chicken chowmin. So you have chicken there, right? And this yeah. is the momo. This is the momo you took in my office, most probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And this one at your home. 
Yeah, this one at my home or a canteen or home. Home, home. Home. Yeah, this is the roti. I mean, this is uh, uh, roti. Roti is okay. This was the drink we took in the Mary Mary Sue, right? Yes. Uh, you dance a lot. Yeah. Yeah, this is Chakpate. I think everyone from Nepal know. Yeah, this was the momo we cooked at my home. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. True, true. Yeah. And this is the uh, fried rice. Yeah, so this is where we took, I mean, this is, yeah, so this is also chat. So this is uh, uh, roll, cutty roll. So this is, uh, this is the meat I cook. Yes. <laughs> okay. So this is si momo. And this is Momo. So actually, you took Momo, and I I know why your belly is so happy, and why you are so huge and giant, like Hulk. Again, yeah. Momo. Yeah, Momo everywhere. Momo mania. That's why. Yeah. This so, is... so today you wear uh, the T-shirt from this restaurant, right? Yeah. This is not the restaurant. Actually, this is the name of the food. So oh. actually, it's called the Dalbar Part Twenty Four Hour. As we eat dal bath and so on. Yeah, yeah, I have this, the explicit picture. Yeah, I know. So this was while I was cooking meat. Yeah, this is the juice. This yeah. Is, so okay, you may continue again. Okay. Mm, yeah. Here I go. All so right. this was the fun facts about Nepal. So actually, so if anyone here is new to local guides, then I would like to say that. If, if if your question is what is local guides, then local guides is a global community of explorers who write reviews, uh, share photos, answer questions, aid or edit cases, take facts on Google Maps. So you know millions of people rely on your contributions uh, to decide where to go and where not to go. It's like fixing the mobility problem. So currently, because of the Corona, we have all of us are at home. So actually, the uh, businesses or startups like who are uh, Delivering food for food in homes, where I mean, actually, the e commerce marketplace that are sending us, delivering us foods and things in our home that is actually being possible because of the Google Maps. So, which is the I mean, which is one of the perfect mm -hmm. maps that we have currently. So, I guess so. Google Maps has made a great impact for now, and it is, I mean, it is the mostly used app for now in Corona time, right? For well, because. So, uh, because of the corona, so while you want to deliver things, you need address, and why you want to uh, go to the party, I mean, specific location or address, you need Google Maps to navigate, right? So, and the startups and ride sharing applications, they all use Google Maps. Yeah. So, this is about me. So, my journey as a local guide, actually. So, I joined Local Guides in 2015, and I founded Google Local Guides Nepal community. So then I got recognized as the first local guides community moderator from Nepal. And I think I may be the most uh, first local guides from Nepal too. So later on, I was invited by Google to attend moderator training. And this is the time when I got to meet Pavel. So during the moderator time, we used to get connected with lots of local guides community moderators around the specific regions. And since Bangladesh and Nepal has the similar type of time zones, so Pavel and me were connected for the first time uh, at the community moderator program. Yeah. So my first local guides meetup in Nepal was in Jan January 2016, which was in Bhaktapur, and Pavel knows Bhaktapur. So later on, I became Google ECTB trusted photographer and was recognized by Google too. Also, I was invited by Google for to attend local guides summit in 2017 and 2018. But uh, there is something I will be sharing later on, and Pavel knows that. Pavel, don't wait a second, okay? Okay, thank you so much. So uh, I, I want to share one thing with uh, our audience, uh, uh, because previously, that during the 2016 and 2017, there was uh, one program under Local Gate program. It's called the uh, Community Moderators. So the 2017, Google, uh, uh, Google uh, stopped this one and Google uh, start to introduce the connect moderators. So now there are no more uh, community moderators. So all com uh, communities are now powered by the community, not uh, powered by the Google. Yeah, so so I, I, 
yeah I, I clarify th this one i clarify this one for the new local guides uh, otherwise it can make them confused so 2017 yeah. hopefully i forget the month google yeah, uh, yeah. so the, now i want to share a little bit um, uh, more about bangladesh because so many questions uh waiting yeah so, well. so this is the photo you are seeing my photo this was the first swag i got from google as a connect i mean as a local guides moderator so one thing i would like to add regarding the moderator program was during the early days when google came up with local guides so there was google plus from google from google so during that time we used to have community in google plus so now all the communities have been moved to local guides connect and now local guides connect is the our uh, only so local guides connect is our only and most uh, i mean Great forum, or as Pavel already said, that it is heart of local guides. So I agree with you. New term, heart of the local guides. Sounds interest interesting. Yeah. So thank you so much, bro. So uh, yeah, uh, our audience, um, uh, you can see that uh, our uh, map on Google Maps. So I want to take this uh, opportunity to share a uh, few things about my country. So Bangladesh also called the mother of uh, the motherland of the rivers. Uh, uh, the major uh, 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 the major uh, religion practice in Bangladesh is Islam. Uh, also, the um, uh, with the majority of Hindu and other religion as well. And the Bangladesh has six uh, season, uh, unlike the normal fourth season. So, uh, summer, rainy season, autumn, cool, winter. So it's it's really cool, right? So, uh, so many people actually, uh, or lo uh, also local guide, ask me the best place to visit in Bangladesh. Uh, so, uh, I, I, I have a, uh, I have already created one list. So, let me uh, let me show you my list. So, you can also follow uh, my list on Google Maps. So before uh, before go to the uh, place to place, uh, I want to give a short description about few places. So uh, why Bangladesh is so unique? Uh, because why the uh, Bangladesh have so many unique uh, places, unique things as well. So one of the unique th uh, unique place in Bangladesh is Shundar, uh, Shundarban mangrove forest. So the Shundarban uh, is the largest mangrove forest on the earth and the UNESCO World Heritage Site. So Shundarban is uh, located in uh, between two uh, countries, uh, Bangladesh and India, and the majority of the forest is located in Bangladesh. So uh, I have visited uh, many times in Shundarban. Uh, I will show few pictures from my trip. And it is home of the last remaining uh, Royal Bengal Tigers. Uh, so let's go to the uh, Shundarban from my uh from my list don't forget to list the places we i have visited while i was in bangladesh yeah yeah so yes uh, this is the sundarbon yeah you can see uh, uh it's near to the uh, near to the india and bangladesh border so that this place uh, is the sundarbon and the remaining the uh, the uh, it's very famous for the Royal Bengal Tiger as well. So if we go through the pictures, uh, we can see uh, lots of pictures. So do you know one thing? Yeah. Yes. So, so Sundarban in Nepal is like beautiful forest. Sundar means beautiful and Bon means right forest. So Sundarban is beautiful forest. Nepal. Yeah, yeah. Actually, it's a beautiful forest. So those pictures actually uh, taken by me uh, so during my uh, trip. Photographer. And uh, let's go back to the list again. And uh, and uh, the, uh, we have another uh, unique in Bangladesh is Chittagong Hill Track area. Chittagong Hill Tracks area is a naturally beautiful place, uh, full, full of the beautiful hills. So it is a home for many tribal groups of Bangladesh as well. And for that, uh, our uh, time limitation, I, I am going. Uh, very quickly and later on I will sh uh, share my uh, list as well. So uh, another place is called the Sri Mangal. So Sri Mangal is the tea capital of Bangladesh uh, located in the northeastern part of the country. And uh, 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 and uh, we have the, uh, another uh, district uh, called Rangamati. 
So Rangamati uh, the, is a district of the uh, Chittagong Hill Tracks area. So the main reason to visit this place uh, is the Kaptai Lake. So it is a naturally beautiful man-made lake uh, surrounded by the beautiful hills. So today, uh, uh, with this uh, live streaming, one of our Connect moderators, Shafiul Bashar, will join in. So he will describe about one unique uh, place uh, from our country. So uh, I'm just skipping uh, this one from my list. And I mean, the have a man-made lake in Nepal. So I think I have shared the picture. Okay, and okay. Uh, then uh, San Martin Iceland. So the San Martin Iceland is a beautiful coral Iceland of Bay of the Bengal in Bangladesh. So if you are a beach lover, so that this is the best place to visit in Bangladesh. And uh, we have uh, the another district is called the Silet. Uh, so Silet is a naturally beautiful place in the northeastern part of the Bangladesh, close to the Meghalaya state of India. And it has many beautiful places to visit inside this district. Uh, so the green water, uh, uh, green water, uh, Canal Lal Khan, uh, uh, and Jaflong, Rathargul Swamp Forest. So, uh, uh, and you know, we have another unique, uh, the unique division in our country. So the this is the Borishal. Borishal is a unique place located in the heart of uh, the Delta part. So life in Borishal is fully based on the river. And uh, yeah, uh, so we have uh, one uh, city, it's called the Mok City. So Mok City is the Bagarhat. And the Bagarhat is a city founded in 15th century by a Turkish general, which was formerly known as Khalifabad as well. So it is full of beautiful historical mocks among with the 60 dome mocks in the most famous uh, on this area. And I want to share uh, another unique thing uh, in a unique place in our country. It's called the Cox's Bazaar. Uh, Cox's yeah. Bazaar is the largest. Yeah, bro. I know we have uh, so many memories in Cox's Bazaar, and I will sh I, I will definitely share with our audience uh, our few of pictures from Cox's Bazaar as well. So Cox's Bazaar is the one thing. So Cox's Bazaar is the first sea beach I have ever visited in my life because you know. Nepal is a landlocked country and we don't have seas in Nepal, we just have rivers. So Cox Bazaar, it was my first experience I mean, enjoying the sea beach and you know, so we stayed till night and daytime and so on. So that's that was amazing. Yeah, yeah. and Cox Bazaar is the longest unbroken uh, uh, beach in the world uh, with the 125 kilometer uh, the, uh, length. And we also have Shunarga, also uh, have uh, another district. Uh, so uh, now it's time to uh, share. Uh, it's time to share uh, all of you with all of you uh, about the all places I mentioned. Then uh, I will invite uh, Nanda, uh, Mr. Nanda from uh, India. So before. Uh, or go to him, uh, I, I would like to share the places, a uh, few other places. So this call is the Bichana Kandi. Uh, so it's full of nature uh, as I am from the, from my mentioning district. So I, this place is also one unique place to visit uh, in Bangladesh. So you can see the picture from the Google Street View uh, or also from the uh, Google Maps. So yeah. yeah. It's awesome, right? Yeah, looks nice. So you have yeah, lots of so, things in Nepal too. Wow, so, uh, yes. Actually, uh, we meet Dang, as Bedwas is talking about Dang and so on. Yeah. Okay. So, so as I mentioned about the Ratal, uh, Ratargul Swamp Forest, so yeah, uh, these pictures uh, from the Ratargul Swamp Forest. So the, the uh, rainy season is the best time to travel here. Uh, to enjoy uh, the uh, swamp forest and uh, yes uh, I, I i want to share one uh, unique things in the taj Hat place uh, you know about the, the jomidar house so it's a jomidar house in uh, rongpur district uh, last time me and sumaya uh, we both uh, visited this place and yeah uh, bro, uh, remember uh, we visited the Dhakeshwari Mandir uh, during your yeah, uh, visit. Yeah, I was about to say this was the 
I mean, this is the Hindu temple located in uh, Dhaka, right? So we had gone in the morning time. I went inside and but it was yeah, it was really great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, and uh, the experience was uh, I I I have to explain uh, because uh, you uh, your religion is Hindu, my religion mm -hmm. is uh, Islam. So um, we uh, we uh, have to explain him. Uh, uh, I was about, going inside. Yeah, yeah, yes. And uh, Lal Lal Bakila, so yes, yeah, yes uh, actually, I'm going to uh, the, this place, yeah, yeah, this one, remember, right? Yeah, I remember, I have the Shelby too, yes, lots of picture, uh, uh, actually. And as I mentioned before, Bangladesh is a uh, is a uh, country. Uh, with lots of natural beauty, history, and rich culture. So uh, I, I want to take today's opportunity to invite all of you, please uh, visit in uh, Bangladesh. And uh, uh, anytime uh, you can visit uh, in Bangladesh. And the local guides uh, from uh, the Bangladesh, they are also very welcoming. Uh, uh, so I, you, can, uh, you can travel anytime in our country. And uh, I, I want to share a few things, just few things about our food, because uh, uh, you know I'm a food lover. Uh, I'm a food lover, and uh, Bangladesh is actually no, heaven. Tell tell the, tell our audience about your weight before you you are saying about you, that you are food <laughs> lover. No, 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 this one secret cannot share. Yeah, uh, and. Uh, Yes, uh, if I go through uh, about our food, so... Pavel, let me add one thing before you start sharing about your food, okay? So yeah. while I was at Pavel's out, so in the first morning, so I th I was thinking that we Nepal eat a lot, right? So when I went to Bangladesh, I stayed in Pavel's house in the next morning. So I just uh, became fresh and went to the table and I saw lots of uh, huge plate with lots of items, rice, and vegetables and peas and I said, Pavel, is this lunch time or is this breakfast time? And Pavel said, this is the breakfast time. I was shocked. <laughs> so it is the easy. So it was like it is the breakfast you take and so on. So and, and that day I came to know that Pavel and I Hulky is because of that food and so on. Yeah. I, so, yeah. So the uh, in our country to have too many popular food. Uh, so that the Bangladeshi uh, breakfast food is porota, um, uh, maybe uh, 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 the Asian. Uh, uh, so those who are watching from the Asian countries, you know about the porota. And our Bangladeshi main dish, uh, so many main di dish we have. Uh, for example, the kachi biryani uh, is one of the special Bangladeshi food. And bhuna khichuri, one of my favorite food. Due to the time limitation, I cannot... Uh, I cannot display all of the food picture and so, because so so many audience uh, they commenting on the comment section they are hungry already so I and don't I, want to make them more hungry. Got water in your mouth too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, in generally, uh, Bangladeshi people we love to take rice with curry, bhorta bhaji, and dal. It's a everyday meal. Uh, and we also love to take the grilled chicken with naan roti. Uh, one yeah. of the famous uh, dish in our country is halim. Uh, halim is a, uh, basically one a spicy soup, very popular uh, in our country. And shik kebab. Yeah. Yeah, shik kebab, and we also have so many rich street uh, street food uh, like fuchka, uh, chotpudi, and we also have so many uh, sweets uh, like uh, mishti doi, uh, the doi chira, uh, falada. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember. Uh, I also test uh, tested them uh, doi, uh, maybe bhuktapur. Uh, during my Nepal, oh, okay. uh, yeah, it's called Judo Dao. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, you want to share anything more about Nepal, or uh, on the meantime, I, I actually want to invite uh, Mr. Nanda from India. He wants to share a uh, few things uh, uh, about India. So, let's welcome Mr. Uh, Nanda Dulal Kundo from India. So. I will uh, uh, thank yeah, you, yeah, yeah. thank you, Pavel and Niraj. Uh, you will able to hear me? Yeah, you are audible. Oh, fine. 
that's good i am not prepared as such because uh, listening to you is really uh, very good we've been uh, able to know so many things about the nepal and bangladesh and i have a lot of common things uh, about you india is a country which has been attached to nepal as well as bangladesh also and uh, recently i visited recently means a year back i visited nepal so the all those uh, things are very uh, very much uh, uh, known to me what you've been said about the nepal and for bangladesh it is a country of my forefathers i being uh, here in mumbai uh, is one of the uh, economic ca capital of india but i belongs to uh, in a state called uh, uh, in a state uh, which is called west bengal and i am a bengali by uh, religion and also by state by religion i am a hindu but there are a lot of commonalities as uh, uh, you said pavel that is a sundarban we are been you got a sundarban in between us so we have a sundarban in india sundarban in uh, Bangla bangladesh as well and nepal also lot of common things with india really nice to hear about you india is a large country is a wow, i think largest country in the south asia and then they have uh, almost 29 states seven union territories lot of religions lot of type of foods and uh, lot of things to see not only the taj mahal is the main thing for the india and the people there are uh, varieties of the culture the language their food of it places to visit places to see and understand i think that requires a another full one hour to discuss about that I am very much pleased to uh, link to Ithiar and I being a uh, local guide of level 7, I really uh, appreciate your efforts. Uh, next time, maybe in some other days, we'll be talking more about the India. Welcome all of you to India. Anybody in, in uh, anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, you are welcome to India. India loves everybody. India with a uh, different and varieties of the colors and people, they wanted to be with everybody. Thank you very much, Pavel and Neeraj. Thank, Thank you so much for uh, uh, a lot of things about the place. So actually, Nepal was also celebrating Visit Nepal 2020 campaign, and we had lots of uh, exciting offers and lots of packages for traveling and visiting Nepal. But unluckily, so because of Corona, everything has been cancelled. So let's hope. So we'll be celebrating uh, another visit, visit campaign in Nepal, and and I also would like to invite you to Nepal and hope. Uh, so if you if you will visit Nepal again, then we will definitely have the time to meet and greet. Okay, bro. Okay, thank you so much for joining. Uh, thank you so much for joining with us. So uh, now I would like to invite uh, uh, Shafiul Bashar, uh, one of our Connect moderator, newly, 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 newly Connect moderator. So let's welcome uh, our uh, 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 Shafiul Bashar. He is from Kumilla, so Kumilla mm. is one of our, uh, our very uh, our historical uh, district. So it's uh, time for Shafil Basha to uh, tell about your city. Hi, Saiful, welcome. And greetings from Nepal. Hi, hi welcome. Hi, Niraj and Pavel Sarwar Bhai. Uh, thanks, uh, everyone who is uh, watching us. And I'm so pleased to join this uh, live streaming meetup i think it is my first live streaming uh, local guest meetup uh, so we have uh, uh, organized so many virtual local guest meetups which is uh, uh, hosted or um, uh, which was um, uh, conducted on google maps and uh, zoom platform but it is the first time that we uh, uh, we join and i think we uh, i see the first local guest meetup which is uh, um, uh, organizing uh, on the live streaming on youtube and facebook platforms so thanks, uh, Pavel Bhai, for this unique uh, idea. And I think it is a it is a, uh, it is a very uh, uh, good uh, initiative to uh, promote our countries. Like uh, Niraj Bashal Bhai already uh, promoting his country, Nepal, and Pavel Pavel uh, taking this initiative to uh, promoting Bangladesh. It is uh, really uh, very helpful and uh, amazing uh, step. Uh, for as a Bangladeshi, I think. So uh, in this call, uh, I want to introduce myself uh, that I am Mahmoud Shafiul Bashar from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I am a level eight local guide. And now recently I am become a uh, connect, moderator, connect moderator on local guest connect forum. And it's my, uh, it's my honor that I uh, get this chance to become a, uh, a connect moderator and you local guides all, uh, all are uh, 
uh, wishing me and congratu uh, congratulate uh, me to uh, about this success. So I am very thankful to uh, all of you people. Uh, thanks. Thank you. Uh, now, so it's, thank you. It's, now it's great to have a uh, active local guides like you to have as a connect moment. And one interesting thing I would like to share is, so while I was in Bangladesh, I couldn't meet uh, Saiful, but luckily, so later on Saiful came up with his community T-shirt. Remember you? Do you remember that yeah, Camilla yeah, yeah. uh -huh. T-shirt with the blue color? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, he yeah. sent in me that T-shirt and. And I had taken the picture and shared him with you. And later on, he had shared that picture through this through his page too. And thank you so much. So it's it's oh. live, and I would like to thank you so much for that. It hi, it was a friendship uh, uh, gift from Kumila local guys and other communities like Nepal, ne uh, Italy, and Australia, and other uh, few other countries. Uh, it's maybe uh, 2018 when I sent this T-shirt with all. Uh, yeah. So now uh, uh, I want to share some of uh, the beautiful places and the my traditional historical places of Kumilla, my home hometown. And uh, now I am uh, living in the uh, capital of Bangladesh, Dhaka. But I want to share some of the best places uh, of Kumilla as well as uh, Pavel Wai uh, already shared some of the beautiful places in Dhaka uh, in Bangladesh, and he uh, uh, knows very well about these places. Uh, Kumilla is one of the three oldest districts of Bangladesh, the second largest city of Eastern Bangladesh. And recently, it is uh, one of the proposed new uh, division of Bangladesh, which is maybe established uh, with, uh, with the greater Kumilla, I mean, some nearby uh, district like Brahmanbaria and Ch uh, Ch Chadpur district. And it is situated be uh, beside the Tripura uh, state of India. and. Uh, before uh, uh, before uh, its uh, established Kumilla, it was under the Tripura uh, state of India. Uh, and there are so many wonder and attraction, uh, attractions, culture, language, and tradition in Kumilla. But there are, uh, uh, in this live session, I will show some of the best things and best places uh, of Kumilla city. Uh, Kumilla is a city and a uh, city of Rashmalai as well. Uh, we, uh, I think you all know that uh, Kumilla is a city of Rashmalai and Rashmalai is one of the famous cities of Bangladesh. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody in Bangladesh uh, uh, is called the, um, uh, one of the best suites, Rashmalai, which is belong uh, to Kumilla. And Kumilla uh, is traditional uh, Rashmalai home. So I want to uh, share some more. Uh, OK, sorry. Huh. Matri Bandar, uh, one of the original root of uh, Rashmalai in Bangladesh. Uh, Rashmalai, as I mean, the uh, traditional sweet, which is uh, made with milk and sugar combination. And uh, Rosh means so Jewish and Malai means cream, uh, as we know, Rosh Malai. Uh, there are uh, uh, other historical landmark, uh, which is Shalbon Bihara. Shalbon Bihar is a, uh, one of the most important and famous archaeological Buddhist Bihar in Bangladesh, which is situated and, at Kudbari Kumilla. And it was founded at the end of the 8th century by the king of Bhagavadab. Uh, where uh, all new Buddhist students came uh, to learn religious knowledge and prayer. But now, there is only the archaeological ruins of the Bihar. This is the main attraction of the place, but there are also archaeological elements, historical signs you may see at the Mainamuti Museum, which is situated near the Bihar. I mean, I am talking about the one of the most important and famous uh, uh, Buddhist Bihar, which is called Shalbot Bihar, which is situated and one of the most uh, popular tourist place nowadays in Bangladesh, which is situated in Kumilla, as well as know. And another recently, I want to share uh, if you uh, travel in Kumilla city, uh, you must have to go a, a destination, and this is uh, this is Dharma Shagor, one of the most uh, big, uh, um, it's like a big pond, lake. Uh, which is called Dharma Shagor. Uh, the main attraction of the Kumila city, a big pond, like leg that contains the fresh water and charming scenario. It is the first choice of 
every traveler and every visitor of that city in uh, of Kumilla. And then I want to share uh, a most beautiful place, which is the first dinosaur park in Kumilla, uh, which is which is called the Dino Park. Uh, Dino Park is uh, beside, uh, situated beside the uh, very near, uh, not very far from the city, and uh, it, it will be almost uh, 10 to 12 kilometers from the main city, which is uh, very close to Salvon Bihar uh, of tourist spot. And okay, sorry. Acha. Then I want to share uh, uh, one of the um, another. Uh, another travel uh, amusement park, which is nowadays very popular in Bangladesh, which is called Magic Paradise Park, uh, one of the biggest park in Kumilla. Um, if you come to visit Kumilla and Shalbon Bihar, you must have to uh, enter in this amusement park, which is a large area park, and uh, have many facilities for the visitors of this park. Uh, so. So uh, uh, I want to uh, stop my presentation because uh, there are a lot of many things to share in Kumila, but it's I have yeah. only a few hour, a few times and few moments for yeah. sharing. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah. have... Thank you so much, uh, Shafil Bashar, because uh, Bangladesh uh, uh, is a country with 64 districts. So <laughs> every district uh, actually uh, unique. So uh, we have lots of things to share. So thank you so much. Thanks again oh, for joining with us. Yeah, Niraj. Nepal, Nepal has 77 districts. Don't forget that. <laughs> I didn't forget that. Yeah, so now it's time to uh, time for Niraj uh, again to continue his presentation. So okay. thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you Pavel Bhai. Thank you, Saiful, for joining. Thank you. Take care. Stay safe. OK, Pavel. So I'll go with. <clears throat> Yeah, because so, so many guests are actually waiting in uh, our uh, 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 private studio. So uh, we will invite uh, a few of them uh, to share about their country. Okay, so I was here, my journey as a local guide. Yeah, so I will be here. So here's the Nepal local guides community and here are the swags. So this is the swags uh, of Nepal local guides. I actually had carried some swags while I was uh, traveling to Bangladesh. So when I went to Bangladesh, I came to know that the swags, the, their, uh, I mean, the price of the swags, there is so much less. So I think we printed more than 200 or some badges in Bangladesh, right, Pavel? So 200. Yeah. So I want to know the name of the place. I mean, I actually know the place that was, it lines and so on. So you were telling and you were convincing them to lower the price. I, I actually remember. Okay. Yeah, the place name is Katabon. It's near, yeah. Aba, near, near to the University Dhaka. Yeah, so another one is the Nepal local guide sticker. So this was printed in Nepal. So another one we have is this Nepal local guide t-shirt. So it was uh, designed by one of our local guides. So his name is Rupendra. Yeah, so here is our local guides community. So there are lots of, as I said, so Nepal has lots of places and lots of things to share, but one, this is this presentation won't be enough for me to share lots of things. So I actually have summarized some of the photos. So here is the photo walk uh, that was hosted in Basantapur. And, and this is the photo which was hosted when I became the street view trusted photographer. And it was also one of the first street view trusted photographer meetup. And this the photo in the middle. It's a photo taken on the way to Nagarkot. So it was like in Pavel 2017, we celebrated, I mean, we hosted an event. It was local guides summit Nepal. So Google was with, yeah. their, with its own summit. And in Nepal, we came up with our own summit. So this photo and this is the photo from Patan. We had lots of local guides. So yeah. yeah I can see the Obishek picture. Yeah, Obishek, yeah, Obishek is here. Ganesh is here. Yeah, you know. Yeah, Anything? I'm missing lot of Obishek and Ganesh. So through the through this uh, today's live streaming, I want to say uh, hi to uh, Obishek and uh, Ganesh. Okay. I hope they are listening to you, I guess. Yeah. If not, I will definitely tell them to you wait okay so here are some of the gifts i got from google so this was the letter of, uh sent by google when they were sending the last community t-shirt and this was like in you you remember Pavel, in 2016 google used to send email to redeem a, a t-shirt and then we have to buy it from the google store so this was the one 
Yeah. And the third one, it was greeting that was sent from San Francisco to me. So as uh, I couldn't win, I, I mean, actually, I, since I couldn't make my way to San Francisco, so I will share it why. Yeah. So here are memories and the most wow. important part of today's meetup. So here is something. So this is the place uh, in Inani, Inani Beach, right? Yeah, so yeah. Cox Inani Beach in Cox's Bazaar. Yeah, Inani Beach in Cox's Bazaar. Yeah, so Pavel, me and Sumaya Babi, we had hosted our event in Sumay, I mean, I mean Inani Beach. So this was the first time I, I traveled abroad and this was the first time I visited Sea Beach too. So this is the picture. And this is the picture of, this is a picture of pizza. So here, uh, during that time, we met Pavel and some some from Bangladesh local guys too. So they, I remember yeah, the I name. In the picture is one of Connect Moderator is Sonia. Uh, Sonia? Uh, and a few local guys from uh, Bangladesh local guide community. Uh, yeah. yeah. And this was the photo. Yeah, Pavel, I, this was the t-shirt I was talking about. And this was the t-shirt you were talking about. So this is the t-shirt Pavel gifted me. So this this t-shirt has a local guides. I'm mean, sorry. This t-shirt had a flag of Bangladesh. And this t-shirt has a uh, flag of Nepal and eaten Nepal also. This was the photo we took when I was coming to Nepal back. So it was my last. I have posted, yes, uh, I have posted uh, this picture in Local Guide Connect, uh, Connect as well. Yeah, yeah, friendship, yeah, something like that. During my birthday or something, right? During your birthday, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So our other memories here is uh, this. This is the best. So which was given by Google during the early days when there was a community moderator program. So as of now, there is no community moderator program. There is only local guides moderator. And this was the this was the global local uh, community moderators hangout. So this was the hangout when Pavel and I met for the first time. So you can see lots of community moderators here and in the discussion also forum also. Yeah. So one said I also have one sad story as I always keep smiling, but I also have some sad story with Google. So in 2016. Uh, I didn't apply for the summit because I was at level uh, four and I could make it to level five. But actually, I didn't uh, became a local guide to go to USA or so on, so on. But uh, so that's why I didn't make my level to level five and apply for the summit because you know the criteria to apply for the summit is that you have to reach level five. So in 2016, I could have reached level five, but I didn't do that because actually my plan was not to visit. Uh, San Francisco instead of uh, help people of San Francisco to come Nepal. So that's why I became local guides. So I was invited by Google in 2017 uh, in local guide summit and in 2018 uh, connect live. But actually I was rejected by American embassy of Nepal. So they didn't give me the visa. And that's why I couldn't meet Pavel in local guides connect. Bro, you went to San Francisco in 2018, right? No, 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 2017. Yeah, that was the local, uh, local guide summit. So now that name is changed, the car now name is correct. Yeah, so I couldn't uh, go to uh, summit in 2017, but Pavel went. So it was one of the great moments for me. Okay, this was the sad story. Yeah. So, Pavel, shall I share why local guys community? So, maybe. So, yeah, but. So uh, now, uh, actually, I want to invite uh, Patel. Uh, he is waiting for a long. Uh, so he wants okay. to share about his country. So uh, after that, I want to give a. Uh, I want to give a short FAQ uh, about the Bangladesh because uh, uh, so many questions. Uh, how, how is it safe for women traveler in Bangladesh, or why the people in Bangladesh they color their beard in red color. So many funny questions as well. So uh, I want to go through a quick uh, question and answer. So before okay. that, uh, yeah, let's before that, I, want to... I mean, let's see my presentation part to the last because it will be to all the local guides. So let's put yeah. that part. So this well. part will be our last part. We will speak more about the local guide program uh, and the uh, Connect Forum as well. So now I want to invite uh, Patel. Um, hi, Patel. Hello. Thanks for giving me opportunity. Yeah. Thank you for uh, joining. Can you, can you introduce yourself uh, and uh, share 
little bit because we have time limitation. So uh, uh, within uh, five minutes, can you share a little bit about your country as well? Yeah, yeah sure. Sir. So I am Hiran Patel. I am from India, Hyderabad. So this is my first virtual meetup with the local guides. And thank you for giving me opportunity. Yeah. So India, we have total population of 135 crores as per 2008. And India is the first country. We have elephants also in the Kerala. Yeah. Many people won't know this about this. Yeah. And we have 28 states and eight union territories. India is rich about its languages, like it has 179 languages. Yeah, and it is the only country which have this many languages. And as many people know, the only religious gathering, which is Kumbela, is view from the space. Yeah, and like the in winter, like in January or December month, the best place to view, visit India because there is an event which is organized by state of Gujarat. Yeah. So it is runoff Kutch. Many people will know about it. Runoff Kutch. It occurs from December ending to January, February. Sorry. So it's basically of a white sand. Mm, yeah. So yeah, many people know that the zero is invented by an Indian, that is Aryabhatta, and many things like plastic surgery or many things. And I must say about because the many topics are covered in this like food food related. So I want to mention mango is the fruit which is biggest production happens in India. And it is most under. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Wait a minute. <coughs> Sorry. So there are many things. So. Can you recommend some places like and and I think he's okay. Uh, so sorry, maybe for the bad internet uh, connection, we lost him. So, uh, uh, so now uh, I want to uh, share few memories from Nepal before I uh, share uh, answer few questions. So uh, let's share few memories from Nepal. Actually, that, that was my the uh, Connect uh, local guide uh, local guide summit application post in uh, local guide Connect. So okay. uh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so that uh, this is my passport picture. So I have taken every picture from my flying to return back my home. So passport. Yeah. So Sumaya is waiting in uh, our, uh, Dhaka, uh, uh, our uh, Hazrat Shah Jalal International Airport. Uh, so because she gonna miss me. And uh, this is the first. Uh, uh, this is the first time I am going Nepal uh, using Bangladesh Airlines. And uh, yeah, uh, and uh, this is uh, in the Kathmandu uh, Airport, Tribhuvan oh. International Airport. Airport. Yeah, yeah, this is the like main gate. Main gate, yeah. So and uh, remember, uh, uh, where you and me we uh, meet in a uh, marriage ceremony, and. Yeah. He was the minister, right? Yeah. Kesa Buddha Toki. So during that time, he was minister for, I mean, federal affairs. I know, no, no. He was minister yeah. for something. So, as I am also a education campaigner, so I always love to uh, meet with the school students and share my views. So, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, I'm a, so, this picture from one of the school in Nepal. And this one, another school. And remember, at that time was too cold, so we went to buy, uh, uh, buy uh, uh, the jacket. Yeah. So the the I ticket. Yeah. Then the uh, this uh, the picture may be taken in the hospital. The hospital. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Now we had gone to meet my one of my brother who has, I mean, we had got an accident. Yeah, see, that yeah. is the CV. Yeah, that this is the mustard. Mustard. Yes. And this picture in front of the Prime Minister office of the Nepal. Yeah. So, and now I, and, and I brought this. Yeah, I brought uh, this jacket, and I bring actually this uh, jacket in San Francisco as well. Yeah, you were. I mean, actually, confused of taking that color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And few Nepali yeah. coins. Yeah. Nice. Nepal Telecom office. Yeah. Civil civil war. War. Yeah, the the the, the horse. The, the actually yeah. the police. The policeman actually the, uh, that I'm yeah, using this horse. Yeah, traffic and, police. Yeah, there, someone uh, wrote my name in Nepali. Pavel Sanwan. Sarwar, yeah. Sanwan, <laughs> S-A-N-W-A-R. And uh, we watched the movie. Yeah, Zori yeah. LLV2. Yeah, yeah. And this was uh, during my return time. Yeah. Uh, I... yeah uh, and yeah, so when I came back, so my mother-in-law, my brother-in-law, and my uh, beautiful wife, uh, she uh, 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 went there to receive me. Uh, so now, it's, yeah. So now it's time to, uh, but the time to answer few questions. Uh, very quickly, I am going to answer the questions about okay. Bangladesh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So the first question is, where is Bangladesh? So many people uh, uh, want to know what is the exact area. So Bangladesh is a South Asian country located beside the India. Uh, it is bordered on the three side by India and one side by the Bay of the Bengal. And uh, the another common question is uh, what language people speak in Bangladesh? As I mentioned earlier, Bangla is the language in Bangladesh. And uh, the country name Bangladesh actually means country of Bangla. So everyone in this country speak Bangla, uh, ex except uh, some uh, tribal people in the hill tax area. And uh, the, uh, another uh, question is, what are the major cities of Bangladesh? The capital uh, of Bangladesh is Dhaka, as I mentioned, and more than, uh, and, uh, and the largest seaport of the country uh, is uh, located uh, in Chittagong, and other major cities is Silet, uh, Kulna, Barishal, Rongpur, Rajshahi, Maimanshing, uh, Kumilla. And, uh, the, uh, and so many people also ask, uh, the what are the key tourist attraction uh, of our country? I want to say the whole Bangladesh actually is a tourist at attraction country with, uh, with lots of places. Uh, so, but, uh, so I as I ma mentioned before and now I want to mention few names very quickly. Uh, Shundarbon, which is the UNESCO World uh, Lar Heritage Site, it has the large unbroken Sydney be uh, beach in uh, the world is Cox's Bazar. And uh, we also have, uh, uh, and uh, one unique thing I want to uh, say, uh, we have one unique transportation is called the rickshaw. Uh, and uh, we have uh, so many places. Uh, I, I, I want to go through very, go through few tourist attraction in Bangladesh is Lalbagh Port, Asan Munjil, uh, Star Mox, uh, Khan Muhammad Mosque, uh, Dhakeshwari Mandir, uh, Shadurgat River Port, Panam Nagar, uh, 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 Mok City Bagarhat, uh, Shundarbon, uh, Mohastangor, uh, uh, Kantoji Mandir, Tajhar Jomidar Bari, uh, Jaflong, Ratargum, Swar Forest, and so many things. And the few common question is uh, one of the uh, our audience also today asks me about is this country safe for the women? So I want to say that the, uh, Bangladesh is a country we love to welcome the foreigners in our country. And yeah, so uh, uh, we always uh, uh, treat the foreigners as our best guest. Uh, so Bangladesh is very safe for the uh, solo travelers as well. And the uh, one common question is how costly is Bangladesh to visit? And uh, I mentioned before that Bangladesh is a heaven for the budget travelers. So, uh, so you can travel uh, on your budget, Bangladesh, anytime. And uh, the uh, uh, someone uh, uh, someone asked me, uh, uh, 
uh, what could be the best gift to take from the Bangladesh. So I want to recommend traditional Nokshi Katha. Uh, you, you can bring as a souvenir the replica of rickshaw uh, but, uh, because uh, it's a very unique tra uh, unique transportation in Bangladesh. Uh, and uh, the other question is uh, related about the visa and uh, entry in Bangladesh. So you can go through the uh, website, uh, our government website. You can uh, you can uh, you can know uh, the, in detail about the uh, about the uh, uh, how to get Bangladesh visa and other things. And few friends from Nepal they asked me, is it possible to get a Bangladeshi visa in Nepal? Yes, uh, it's easy to get uh, because uh, Bangladesh is on arrival. Uh, Bangladesh provide on arrival visa uh, uh, to come in Bangladesh from Nepali people. But other foreigners, if they need visa, they also can apply visa from Kathmandu as well. And uh, the few others are uh, question are uh, like how difficult to get more, more SIM card here. So uh, it, it's very easy to get the SIM card in Bangladesh. Uh, if you come through the airport, so you can buy the SIM card from airport. Uh, yeah, of course, the micro SIM card also available in our country. And the internet, uh, you know, the Bangladesh uh, declared the digital Bangladesh in 2012 uh, in December. So the internet facilities in Bangladesh is very awesome and very powerful. So um, uh, we have uh, 4G speed internet in our country uh, from February 2018. Uh, and our currency, uh, yeah, our currency name is uh, uh, Bangladeshi Taka. It's uh, also known as the BDT. And uh, the, uh, so many people also ask me, the, is there any ATM booth in airport? Yes, the ATM booth is available in airport. And uh, also uh, we have the money change, uh, changer uh, in the airport. So now I want to go through uh, a few uh, a few curious questions people ask me, uh, ask me uh, during their tra travel in Bangladesh. Uh, and also sometimes uh, they also text me and uh, a few curious questions like why men color uh, their beard in orange. So it's very common for the uh, uh, elder uh, people in Bangladesh to color their white bread and uh, hair in orange. So maybe you know about the Mehdi, right? Uh, Niraj, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so, so Mehdi, they use, uh, use Mehdi for color uh, their hair and uh, the uh, and uh, the other question, uh, like, uh, uh, can I take a photo uh, of train or something? So yes, a uh, traveler can take a, a train photo, uh, of course, because you know that in our country, the train is another unique transport. Uh, because, uh, so remember Niraz, you and uh, me and Sumaya, we, uh, we returned from Chittagong to Dhaka through uh, really? the train, right? We have lots of picture. Yeah. Uh, uh, and 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 uh, uh, so many people also. Okay. Yes. So the and another question here, people ask me: Is it possible to travel Bangladesh during monsoon? Of course, definitely it's possible uh, to uh, visit in monsoon because, in fact, Bangladesh is the most beautiful during the monsoon, where the rivers will be the full of the water. Nature will be on its uh, green estate. Uh, so. Uh, so yes, of course you can travel uh, Bangladesh uh, uh, during monsoon period. So yeah, uh, I try my best to give a few quick answer of few common questions. So now it's time to you, Niras, for summer up because uh, we it's already more than one hour. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so I okay. Have a few, few facts from Nepal. So people ask which is the favorable time to visit Nepal. So the favorable months are. September to November and February, April. And the monsoon season in Nepal is June to August. So if you are asking about, I, I mean, some people ask me about the visa cost. So we have uh, unreliable visa in Nepal at the Kathmandu airport. So the visa cost for multiple entity visa is, it, it is for 15 days and it will cost $25. So another question I get is like, do Nepalese speak English? Yeah, definitely Nepalese is, though Nepal is the official language, so English is understood by most of the people in the cities and shops. So it will not yeah, be a problem. Yeah, the same question I face uh, is Bangladeshi people can speak in English. Yeah, of course, the Bangladeshi people can understand and speak in English. 
yeah so if we can if i want to recommend some places if you are for here for few days trip then so i already said that in kathmandu we have uh, seven old heritage sites so you can visit them so some places near kathmandu is like nagarkot so pavel has been to nagarkot i guess so from uh, nagarkot you can have a good view of sunrise and so on so another nearest thing uh, nearest place from kathmandu is chandragiri hill so they have, uh, we have cable cars there so other places are lots we have lots of places like pokhara myself dang and ilam for tea of the uh, and uh, ilam for tea gardens and lots of places so there are lots of places i recommend you. i think we will be coming about the number of recommended places and so on in the upcoming video because we won't be able to include all those things so these were some things so regarding internet connectivity so nepal has a good 4g internet connectivity so you can get the sim cards at airport so currency in nepal here is npr and you can get the currency is exchanged everywhere so while you are in nepal you can use the digital wallets too because digital wallets in nepal are quite popular and they are accepted uh, i mean in lots of uh, merchant stores and so on so qr payment has been popular in nepal yeah so while you are in nepal i uh, yeah enjoying the photo jumping yeah this photo we dedicated to that tracy remember the 2017 you me and sumanya we all three selected for the local guide summit so yeah. uh, we wanted to dedicate uh, one jump for tracy so the, yeah. uh, this is the picture for our uh, more, uh, our idol uh, our uh, mentor uh, uh, tracy so yeah, her name in the name in that instagram and the twitter also the jumping tracy so I today guess, from yeah. this live streaming uh, so that uh, this uh, jump picture dedicated to the tracy once again yeah jumping tracy i guess you will be hearing this in any ways yeah yeah another interesting part this is the nariyal narikal so in in bangladesh pavel calls it narikal so i really love to eat narikal this is the green narikal so in, in bangladesh they call it narikal so lots of similar things like in nepal i say ek kota so in bangladesh pavel says ekta and so on yeah So Pavel, so let me. So shall we con conclude it, or we will be having some person on board? Yeah. So uh, uh, I want to share a few memories from Nepal. Then we are going to conclude this one because, as you mentioned already, the travel in Nangarkot. So I, I want to take this opportunity to share few picture from Nangarkot uh, because I, I travel the Nangarkot with uh, the Ganesh and the whole journey uh, uh, through the motorcycle. Yeah, don't forget that was my bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I want to share few quick pictures to our uh, audience as uh, 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 our viewers. Yeah. Nagarkot Tower. This is the Nagarkot Tower. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mountains. Yeah. Yeah, the ladies. We have the eight mountains with uh, with height of about eight thousand among the ten in the world. Yeah, this is the no. Yeah, I mean, this is actually where I kind of think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so thank you. Uh, yeah. So now we we can conclude uh, uh, our today's uh, session. And uh, for our the, our audience, uh, we will write a recap uh, in our uh, recap uh, on local guide connect. Uh, so you can also view, uh, uh, you can also watch our today's live streaming from YouTube as well. Uh, we also share this one in uh, our Connect forum. Uh, so now I, I want to uh, invite Miras to conclude uh, today's session. Uh, uh, what is local guide and why you need to contribute in local guide? Okay, so here I am. Yeah, so hi, local guides community. So uh, actually, local guides community is a global community. So uh, we get to connected with lots of millions of local guides around the world as we join local guides program. So another interesting thing is like you will be connecting with like-minded local guides. So being a local guides, you have always have the urge to connect with local guides from your country and outside your country to expand your experiences. Like Pavel and me are connected. Like Sara and Pavel, me. So we have lots of local guides friends around the world from. And Nepal, Pakistan, Bangladesh, India, Argentina, USA, Australia, and so on. 
so another another important thing is that we will be helping our local businesses you know so google maps is the first thing that will be help you and this is the best thing that will help the local businesses uh, get their online presence so there are lots of millions of local guides uh, around the world who share reviews photos and their knowledge on google maps so doing this is like uh, you will be helping other people uh, to get uh, the more accurate information about the places you are reviewing it so another important thing is like you will be making a huge impact on a global scale uh, as a local guide it's like when you share in your knowledge and when you share your information in google maps then you are telling your story and having it seen by people around the world suppose i am writing a review of a local uh, i mean momo shop near me and if people someone sorts about it then they will be seeing the story of the momo and the photo i have taken and so on so another is that so local guides is also like a local guide celebrity program so you will be also being a celebrity so making your global presence so as uh, pavel and sumaya have, have got featured lots of time in local guides connect as well as in local guides video too so as i already mentioned that uh, being a local guides you will be getting invitation for the google hosted local guides events like local guides connect and so on so currently local guides connect 2020 was there but it has been cancelled because of the corona so i will add one thing here so for being a local guides uh, for being able to apply for local guides uh, summit program i mean connect live summit program you will need to be at least level 5 so google will be selecting for the sum, for the summit and there will be some certain kinds of application process where you have to make your uh, video and so on so that's the thing so people actually ask me why neeraj why you contribute in local guides and why you spend time so because being in the community i actually don't it's not a earning thing so it's like a giving thing so i always i mean i, I am always privileged to be a part of local guides program because uh, you know nepal has lots of places uh, which is known by lots of people in the world but being a local guides i feel like i have been making an important impact on my community through google maps by helping by helping local uh, companies and local uh, businesses because lots of people ask me that Niras, please uh, help our business get verified, or how to add businesses, or, or how to add temples and so on in Google Maps, or previously how to add roads in Google Maps and so on. So another thing is that I have been able to uh, uh, spread some words about my country to the world. Uh, this is uh, as currently I am also sharing some things about my myself to the world. So previously in 2019, I used to be much more active in local guys connect, and I used to share lots of photography from me in connect. and those posts used to get featured every week in connect by google earth so that was the great opportunity for me to share the things about things and cultures about my country to the world and uh, to the global community i mean global act active community so another important thing which makes me motivated uh, is like uh, local guides is has given me an enormous platform to share my experiences with fellow travels there are travelers around the world like pavel shares about traveling there are lots of people in local guides program who travel a lot and share about traveling traveling tips and photography tips lots of so it's a huge community you would love to join if you are new to local guides uh yeah so another and here is the most important thing i would like to add so i would like to add that uh in google in my google maps account so i have let me check it and say in my google maps i have uploaded more than sorry pavel i will just check it yeah yeah mm, here we go yeah in my in google maps i have uploaded 3089 photos and their views is like uh, 95 million and more than 95 million views so one my only one photo had go, has got more than uh, one 30 million views in google maps so it so i white i wanted to say here is like so what we share in social media if i share a photo of a temple in my social media then it is limited by some people but if i share it to the uh, community like local guides so it will be a an and global presence 
so my upcoming uh, my goal for uh, my uh, my goal for upcoming years is like i want to have improved navigation in nepal with local guide localized source results uh, uh, so that it will help people and it will help the mobility problem and it will solve the navigation problem so being a community is a why community so if we help 10 people you 11 people will help you when you need them so you will always get more than you give always so it's the power of the community so lastly so we have very much short time so here is where you can find me in twitter and instagram you can find me at nrg busal and in linkedin so and in connect it's niraj busal thank you I had to go Thank fast. you okay. so much, bro, for your nice presentation uh, and represent your country. Uh, and uh, I, I, I want to, uh, uh, I want to thank, uh, give thanks to everyone, those who watching us and those who watch will watch us later. So uh, I just want to quick uh, summarize uh, about uh, uh, about our today session. Um, so. Uh, we will do the similar session of uh, uh, many more uh, because we want to share with the world about our country so if you want to uh, if you want to share about your country to the world so uh, have a look on the local guide connect for our upcoming meetup so i i want to show you about the uh, local guide connect and what is actually the local guide connect so Local Guide Connect uh, is a forum for all local guides. Uh, it's, uh, uh, so how can you get this forum? So uh, you need to go through the localguideconnect.com. Then you can sign up here. And you can after sign up, you can see your profile from here. So you can see your Google Maps contribution from here, your profile settings, and other things. And uh, uh, here the others menu as well have the announcement from google photography travel so you can write about the photography travel food and drink uh, local stories meetups how to help decks idea exchange so recently local guide also introduced uh, about your favorite location so if you want to see the post from your favorite location so you can select three location so yeah. you can also like you can, I mean, I mean, uh, nominate your favorite local guides to feature to be yeah. featured. So in recently, local guide. Uh, local guide introduced this one. Nominate a local guide. So if you love uh, love a, any local guide uh, or you love uh, um, their work, so you can nominate uh, the uh, their works. Uh, so you can nominate the local guide. So the announcement, you can see the post. So I would like to request all of the local guide contributors uh, but try to visit. Uh, local guide connect i have a look yeah. in local guide connect every day uh, because uh, and definitely we'll be coming up with one session with a dedicated session for local guide connect how to write a good post in local guides connect and what are the i mean boards you have been connect and how to get in most use of local guide connect so i would just suggest that visit localguideconnect.com if you are local guide then you start i mean for the first three to four days you start viewing how people are posting go to the help i mean there are some um, topics like how to get started in connects and so on so help so see that and before posting it connect first source and then post because you might get some similar post or same post again that's that's what and yeah pavel is sharing our sumaya our no actually i wanted to share uh, uh, and want to thanks all of the local guys from bangladesh because recently in bangladesh we did one uh, great a uh, great uh, campaign uh, it's called the bangladesh challenge and it's an initiative for enriching the maps in bangladesh uh, so uh, here is the recap posted by sumaya uh, so it's a, a big uh, recap so uh, uh, you can have a look on this so yes uh, if you have any question about local guide or google maps or anything so uh, you can directly uh, can uh, directly post uh, post this one in local guide connect so I would like to request all of you, please uh, visit the Local Guide Connect uh, forum mm -hmm. for all of your questions regarding the uh, Local Guide program. And yeah, thank you so much, uh, Niraz, uh, for uh, joining with me today. Uh, it's already one and a half, a half hour, uh, half an hour. Yes. We are, so we are, so it's a long time. Actually, we have a uh, lots of memory. Uh, it's hard to, 
uh, explain by few hours so before the wrap up today's session uh, I, I would like to uh, uh, i would like to uh, give you uh, uh, one uh, a few minutes to if you want to uh, share a yeah, few of your la last word uh, to our audience so feel free to share yeah i just say thank you for everyone for watching us we'll be definitely coming up with much more sessions with much more i mean so currently we are with we shared about nepal and bangladesh and so on and we'll be coming up with much more things about local guides program and how to make most use of it and how you can be a part of the global community and so on with a uh, uh, helpful post i mean like uh, uh, how to post how to how to sessions also so if you have any questions and if you think you have to if you think that uh, we should do some improvements and you have to come up with some improvements in the upcoming live sessions then definitely feel free to reach us and you can also email us so i hope you will be sending us suggestions how can we improve improve and we and i want that so currently we have we are only pavel and me so we want to increase that number so so we we, we would like to welcome you all to join and share about your country to the world so i i hope you will be joining to the in this moment and let the world know about you your country and the things so thank you so much and good night take care thank you so much niraj and uh, yeah so for our audience uh, the local guides if you want to reach uh, reach out me uh, so it's easy to reach out me in local guide connect regarding the local guide uh, uh, and local guide things uh, uh, because uh, uh, yeah i forget to mention uh, about my personal uh, uh, things so yeah i am an tech entrepreneur and education campaigner so uh, i am involved with so many initiatives so for the local guide community it's easy to reach out me through the local guide connect you uh, you can uh, see my uh, local guide connect um, uh, id uh, on our live streaming screen is uh, pavel sarwar uh, feel free to send me messages in local guide connect and thanks once again thank you everyone for joining with us watching us and uh, but the, the all of our guests those who join our today's session and of course nira us so yeah inshallah uh, me and nira will uh, arrange a few more session uh, to ex uh, to share uh, share the country to the world so let's brand your country let's introduce your country uh, uh, to the world and uh, i want to say that stay safe now stay at home uh, we uh, we uh, yeah we will uh, enrich the google maps together thank you yeah. everyone from bangladesh um, uh, i want yeah, to say uh, everyone who are watching us so i would like to say live like a local wherever you go but make a global presence yeah thank you so much so from bangladesh uh, i want to say uh, a very good night uh and assalamu alaikum stay safe Shubharat. stay home subharatri and namaste this is what i have to say bye bye thank you so much